Do you want to learn a Sudoku shortcut, even if it's considered taboo by some solvers? I'll show you the fastest way to solve the green cell and the rest of this puzzle using that shortcut. Click below if you want to give this puzzle a go. And with that, it's solving time. We're going to two go here in block five. You might notice you have a two here in row four, in row six, and in columns four and six. The only place you can put a two is right there in the middle. And that leaves you with a one, five, naked pair. Greetings, friend. This is puzzle one from my September puzzle pack themed after the tragic life of Anne Boleyn. And just like her marriage to Henry VIII was forbidden by the Pope, I will show you a Sudoku shortcut that some solvers think should be forbidden. First though, you have to find all the restrictions in this puzzle. So where can the ones go up here in block two? You might notice you have a one in row three and a one in row one. There's only two possibilities for a one right here. So what I'm using is called Snyder notation. Anytime in a three by three block, you have two possibilities for a candidate, you mark it. And in case you solve one of these cells, you can solve the other right away. This prevents uh, a nice little pattern here because you might notice a one has to be in columns four or six in block two. Well, because of this one five naked pair, ones have to be in columns four and six here in block five. And so what you have is that the one is now limited to block eight here in column five, right? Because you can't have a one there, there, or there now. So we can solve this cell now for a one. And then we can put Snyder ones here in block nine. Okay, let's look at the twos. With this two and these twos, we got some Snyder twos in block three. And these twos and this two, Snyder twos in block seven. I'm gonna give you a little bonus trick here. You can solve all three of these empty cells. Using my neat naked triple trick, you might notice there's a two, three, five, seven, eight, nine in block four. All you need is a one, four, and a six. But you have the one, the six, both looking at this cell. And then the six is repeated right here looking at that cell. When you have this situation, you can solve all three cells. Because this has to be a naked single four. The only place the six can go is right there, and this is going to be your one. So that's my little bonus neat naked triple trick. And that's going to help us out here in the middle because now you got this five can't be in these cells this has to be a five giving you a three seven naked pair right there across the top you need a three seven and a nine you might see a seven and nine right here so that's got to be a three this is going to be a seven nine naked pair and then we're going to four go here in block five but these two fours only place a four can go and so it gives you a six eight naked pair here in block five and because we filled out this one that's got to be an eight to finish column five and we do want to fill a lot of by value cell pairs as you're seeing right here that's the key you need it actually for this forbidden strategy that is coming up keep following the force here with this four cutting across and this four coming up a little bonus tip right here these fours are not only snyder fours but they're also a pointing Error. And what I mean by that is you got this Snyder plus one. There's only one other four in this three block band. And since the fours are restricted to row two here in block one, a four cannot be anywhere else in that row. If you try to put a four here, then you'd have no place to put a four in block one. So you can eliminate a four from this cell. And with these fours, now you can solve for a four right here in block three. And uh, pointing pairs, that's one of the seven main strategies I teach in my Sudoku solving guide. You can download for free from the description if you want it. Okay, after doing that four in block one, uh, the pointing pair to get this four, you can see this four and these two fours, Snyder fours in block seven. Now we can do another neat naked triple trick. Look across row one here. You have Six cells filled out, a one, two, four, six, eight, nine. We just need a three, a five, and a seven. Well, you notice the five and seven both see this cell, and the seven repeats looking at this cell in row one. So we can use that neat naked triple trick. This has got to be 
your three. The only place the seven goes right there, and that's going to be your five. I love being able to solve more than one cell at a time. And then with this seven, now you can disambiguate the three and seven, make a pair in block six. Look at the fives. With this five and this five, you have Snyder fives in block three. And then looking at the sixes with this six and these two sixes, you can solve for six in block nine. And then what you might notice is you have a three six right here and a three and a six right here in column seven. So column seven, column eight, where can a three and a six go in block three? It has to be in these two cells. And this is gonna lead you up with another uh, bonus tip for you. Since the three and six were restricted to these two cells right here, they form a hidden pair. Uh, three, six can't be anywhere else in block three. And when you see this situation, that means no other candidates can be in those cells. Well, you see that Snyder five, we're gonna bump that out because a five can't be there. You put a five there, you wouldn't have enough room for your three and six in block three. So we can actually solve this cell now for a five, displacing that Snyder two. In pairs, very helpful here. And so what that does to help you is now restricts these two cells to an eight or a nine. So that green cell can mean eight or nine. And I'll tell you the significance of the green cell just a little bit later. But what we can do here is do some more solving. With this three, six, all that leaves down here in column nine is a five, nine. You have a full house. In column eight, the only thing left is an eight. And then you have a one seven right here to finish column seven or to finish block nine. So we want to keep putting in all of these naked pairs. And we're getting close to finding that taboo strategy. Before I move on, I want you to know you can solve hard Sudoku like this faster than you think. Join the Smarty Party. I'll send you the rest of this pack. And a new one each month to teach you how to solve Sudoku puzzles in a fun and creative way. My Smarty Party members tell me how much they enjoy these exclusive packs. Click on the pin top below to join the Smarty Party today because you like to have fun, right? And what we can do now is take these sevens and put Snyder sevens up in block one. And then with the eights, with this eight cut across, you have Snyder eights in block eight find all those restrictions and then with the nines we make some markings with these nines snyder nines in block seven this is a solving tip here we've kind of i went through all the snyder marks as i went but we made a lot of solved cells so you always want to go back through the, the markings to see if you can find any more restrictions and we're going to be able to do that because now with these two ones and this one the snyder ones in block seven all right, with the twos, this two and this two, we've got Snyder twos in block one. The threes, this three, and these two threes, you can actually solve for three in block eight. And with those two threes and this three, you have Snyder threes in block seven. And then the two, look right here, you have six digits filled out. Whenever you see five or more, it's always worth looking to see if you can find maybe a naked single. You have a one, four, five, six, seven, and nine. We need a two, three, and an eight. Well, now you saw that three, and you have that eight right there. This is actually a naked single two. And that's gonna help us with some solving here, right? Because with this two, you can displace that Snyder two, solve this cell for two, displacing that Snyder four. And that gives you a nice three, eight, naked pair, BVCs in column one. And our taboo strategy requires naked pairs. So let's fill out a couple more by value cells. Right? This is going to be a significant cell right here. All right. So I'm going to highlight that in blue because we are going to want to be able to solve this cell. Let's look down here. What do we have up here in block one? We need a 378 with this three. That's going to be a 78. And this is going to be a three, seven. Okay, more by value cells. Come down column one. You have a two, three, five, six, nine. You need a one, four, seven, eight. That's a one, seven, eight. This is going to be a one, four, seven. And this right here would be a seven, eight. Okay, so you have a seven, eight here, seven, eight there. You might notice that's actually a naked pair, seven, eight. We can solve this now for 
a one and solve this for a four. Awesome. All right. If I said there's something more significant about this cell right there, I'll get the blue back on that. We're going to do some more uh, filling out here. Look here in column three. One, two, four, six, eight. And you have three, five, seven, nine. So this is going to be a three, five, seven. This is going to be a five, seven, nine. And then this cell, you already have a three in the row, is a five, seven, nine. Okay, we have something going on here. And I want you to know what we're trying to do is solve this green cell. What you do, if you get this green cell as part of my puzzle pack, it's part of a date that you need for the final solution. So you're trying to figure out if this number is an eight or a nine to input it. And then you'd solve every other puzzle. They'll give you, there's a green cell for all those puzzles. You add all those digits together, you get the final solution. You send it to me, you get a shout out at the end of the month when I do my monthly shout out. So to get to this point, we got to find and solve our taboo strategy. I want you to look at these four cells right here. You might notice they all have a five and a nine in them, but then these two cells have a seven in there. And the reason why this is a taboo strategy I'm about to show you is that it's predicated on the puzzle having a unique solution. There's only one solution to this puzzle. And if you solve Sudoku, you really like the puzzle to have one solution. When you ever end up with two, three, four, which is possible, it's not very fun. You want one. If you're doing competition Sudoku, or my puzzle packs, I'll show you that the puzzles have one unique solution. So we use that to figure out what can the values of these cells be. If you took away the sevens from these two cells, if you know that this would either be a five, and that's a five, and then this would be a nine, and that'd be a nine. Okay, cool. But without the sevens there, you can see you have a fives here and nines there. The only other solution that would be and that cell would be a nine here, and nine five there. So you'd have nine five in the same four spots would be reversed. And you'd have two solutions to this puzzle. Well, I told you the puzzle has a unique solution. So this can't happen. The only way to break this deadly pattern, they call it, is to know that one of these cells has to be a seven. If you put a seven in one of these cells, we won't have that deadly pattern. And so we'll have and still can preserve the unique solution. That's the taboo strategy. It's called a unique rectangle type two. A type two means that you have two candidates in these four cells, but then you have one candidate repeated in two of the cells in the same block. And when you have this situation, you can remove that candidate from any other cell in those in that block or in that uh, in the block or you know in the column or the the row that it's in so in this case you can remove a seven from right here right because we know a seven's got to be in one of these two cells and you can remove a seven from right there and what does that do for us well what that does is it allows you to solve this cell now for an eight and this is huge it's going to get us to where we can solve the green cell if you want to learn more about unique rectangle type two check out this tutorial all right, we can do a little bit more solving. I could have done this sooner. As soon as we got that one right there, you know that that's a seven and that's going to be a one. But what this does is this eight now, allows you solve that for a seven, a three, and that's going to be an eight. This has got to be a three now. That's got to be a five. So that's going to be a seven or a nine. Do some, a little bit more solving here, right? We know at this, this three right here, that's got to be a six. That's got to be a three. And now with this eight, you know, that's going to be a nine. That's going to be an eight. So I've already given you the solution to the first puzzle in my puzzle pack. And there's five puzzles total. So you know the first digit green cell is a nine. But we're not done. You got a full house right here. The only thing that's missing is another nine. So you can solve that cell for a nine. Disambiguate the seven nine right here. Let's get to the rest of this solve with... Uh, these two cells, you have a one or a six. And so let's see how we can figure out if it's going to be a one or a six. Look right here. What can be in this cell? That's got to be an eight. It means this is a six. That's going to be an eight. And so now this six and this six, this is your six. That's going to be your one. Disambiguate in the five and the one right there. Okay. And now with this five, you know that this cell's got to be a five. That's going to be a seven. 
So now we know that this is a nine. That's a seven. That's our seven that breaks the daily pattern. And with this nine, you can solve this cell for a five. And our last digit is a nine. Now see if you can spot the taboo strategy in this next video. Thank you so much for watching.